All right, guys, this is going to be very different than what you're used to seeing on our channel. Here we have an old snap-on truck that we have converted for a lady to do living quarters and stuff in it. As you can see, it's already got the fridge vents and stuff in it. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you what we've got going on. We ended up putting holding tanks in it, propane tanks for a furnace and all of that stuff. But I'm going to give you the tour and I'm going to show you um, kind of the process. I took some little videos as we did this project that I'm going to insert into this. So you'll be able to see kind of the steps along the way. I didn't go into great detail, but we're going to go in right now and I'll show you kind of the finished product. There's a few little odds and ends that we've still got to do to it, but for the most part, it's pretty well done. So let's go check it out. here is the snap-on ride we didn't show you all of the gutting that we did but we've got a blank canvas here that we've got all the gluing down we're gonna put our flooring down so we can start setting cabinetry doing some walls so I think Brady's up in here with another piece but he just don't want to come in to see so anyways We'll do a little time lapse for you, let you see this flooring go down and how this comes together. You two praying? Okay, so we're we'll down it. We're doing the old reaching around for <laughs> oh, the Oh, you can't be swearing this is for family. Well. Got yeah, our we'll... sink and stove set up. Shower. Bathroom will go on this side. Tyler's working on the dinette over here. Big double closet. Coming right along, guys. No comments, huh? No. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you the daily update. This will be our fresh water tank, our battery set up, diesel heater. And we've got our fridge. They've cut the vents out for the fridge have a microwave above range just cut the van out for the water heater so it'll have the water heater underneath Your single sink shower this will have a pocket door that comes across here and then they've just cut this window in to sit above the dinette and then the double closet, she'll have a spot for her bike to hang here. And then this will be a jackknife sofa that sits here. So I'll do these daily, kind of keep you up to date on what's going on with this thing. But so far, kind of turning out cool. I think it's going to be a nice setup for her. So stay tuned. So we did a powered awning on this side. You can see the big window that we've put in it. And then, yeah, it's got the access door and stuff for the propane tanks, but we'll go in. Still, just like the snap-on trucks up front, got your nice passenger seat. 
But then as you can see, we've done, this is all naughty alder, stained glass window. This goes straight through to the bathroom. And then yeah, your naughty alder door, this door swings two directions. So you come in and you've got your shower on this side and then it feeds into your kitchen here. And as you can see, this door latches here. There's actually a bathroom on this side. She's got the composting toilet in it. Let me turn on some lights. So yeah, like I say, that stained glass door kind of turned out nice. Nice little medicine cabinet. And then this has a pocket door, sliding pocket door, so you can separate your living area. Stainless steel, single sink. Stainless steel, appliances. It's got the converter and everything in it. Overhead storage, your monitoring systems. It does have solar, water heater, the whole works. So, really turned out pretty cool. Got the TV, like I say, the big window over a dining area. This will fold down and make into a sleeping area. And you've got storage underneath these benches and the tops of the benches fold up also. Microwave. Had some diamond plate inserts that she wanted, I guess, in the refrigerator. And then this is a jackknife sofa, so it'll fold out into a bed also. And then a giant wardrobe cabinet with some drawers below it. And then she wanted a space also where she could do her bike hang your bike up and stuff in here so a little space where she can do that and then yeah it's got some outlets and stuff all the way through it but it's kind of cool i think yeah for a change there's our solar controller and everything but it was kind of a fr fun project for us to work on um, this is the second one we actually did a little schoolie that i can i'll insert some pictures i think i got some video of it i just I didn't post it because I really, we took this project on um, in the winter and it's kind of been a long drawn out process because I've only been able to work on it when I've got them in it. And that's kind of how the schoolie was as well. And so I didn't really want to do any videos of it because I didn't want to take on any more of these if there was interest in it kind of thing. But um yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this anyways. It was kind of cool and kind of fun. So, and something different for the channel. So, we still get some odds and ends stuff that we do. And it kind of keeps things fun. I will tell you this whole back door opens up. And then there's a loading ramp that folds down on a winch. To where you can open that whole thing out and fold the ramp down. And it makes for a giant porch that you can kind of hang out on and... It's kind of cool, but I think it'll be fun. This thing seems to be pretty well built. I was surprised. You can see the thickness of the walls. They're all insulated. Um, so yeah, this in comparison to the schoolie um, structure-wise and stuff was way more sound and set up. I mean, as I put the propane tank underneath it, you could tell immediately that, yeah, this is pretty well built and heavy duty. So anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed um our content so far like i say i'll i'll try and post some more of these kind of things too as we do them um even though it's not really our bread and butter and stuff but it is kind of fun and i think you viewers kind of enjoy it so anyways i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this if you guys have any experience in it i know the schoolies have become pretty popular um and some of that but yeah, this was fun. So anyways, thanks for watching.